this is the most difficult part because it is uh, important to prepare the toy rail as uh, perfect as I can and we can say that job is going. Ciao Piero! And here we are, me and Piero in December, the 16th of December, and we start to install the second attempt of the template because I correct some part on the stern of the board that was not quite perfected and not aligned. So we test if all is correct before cutting the final template and after that the thick one. Hi guys, very early in the morning, seven o'clock. I'm going to Top Tech because Franco is cutting my uh, template for the cap ray. Today we start the final attempt. Stefano from Linea Steam uh, Tick come here and check all the measure and bring home in his factory. So I'm very nervous because Piero and me need to work very fast and hope all will be very perfect because we have no more time to make modification. So today will be a very hard day. You will join me in this adventure too. And we will see all the process. Okay, guys, in a moment you will see. We go. In the moment I'm driving. And just arrived, Eduardo is preparing the plywood, ready to cut. We already put in the computer the measure of the new uh, cap rail because I need to make little bigger to have space behind to copy perfectly the shape of the board. So uh, I test with two uh, attempt and they went very well. I correct some uh, problem and this is the last one. You can see the milling machine cut very well the huge piece of plywood and we are ready to install after that at uh, power plant on Alos. Day, but very cold. And we start in a moment. At the moment I take out all my stuff from the car. We go. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to Power Plant. I'm still here in December because at the last minute I need absolutely to make the template for the new cap rail. I need to make the template because Stefano of uh, Linea Stem Tick came here to take the template uh, in his factory. He made for me the cap rail. So today you will see the last attempt to install the template of cap rail and after that will be made the new one, the new original one in Tick. So join me in this adventure, this last December adventure. It's not very cold here, at the moment it's 12 degrees um, Celsius, so it's not very freezy. So guys, I'm waiting for Piero in a moment and we start to work on the template of the cap rail, the last attempt before the new one. We go! First of all, I need to sand the border of the piece of plywood and me and Piero take out the uh, template that we installed last week. Uh, these are uh, quite um, soft material, but now we will use a 12 millimeters uh, plywood because Stefano need to copy them on uh, his factory because he need a very thick one to copy perfectly it without mistake. And this is the cushion for Piero, for the niece of Piero, because I have some problem, so I help him to stay comfort. And this is the first part of the bow that we need to install. They are quite perfect, so I will keep this uh, template when finished, because if I broke one piece, I can immediately, immediately copy it and install on my board. I cut many 5 mm spacer to use between the pieces. Uh, because I want to maintain 5 mm from the new uh, thick cap rail. I 
I hope uh, the winter will be not very cold because I need to fill up all those holes that uh, me and Piero drill on the cup rail on the fiberglass because um, I don't want they stay open. So I hope a little 12 degrees Celsius or 15 degrees Celsius uh, could be help me to use the epoxy resin and fill up all the holes. We will see. you can see in the video I use a lot of the hand screwdriver I don't want the electric one because it's very easy to broke and the stand is still inside the fiberglass so I prefer to control the power of my hand and pay a lot of attention another five millimeter spacer and center the piece in the middle of the cap rail Piero correct the imperfection and the correct angle of uh, the insert of cup rail in the other pieces, 5 millimeters, drill and go. We have not a lot to correct because we already correct in the previous two ones that we did in the last month and this is the last one so we need a little very small modification so it's very fast job today, not uh, too much uh, effort. And this is the part uh, of the cap rail knee that uh, are installed the cleats. So is the small one. In also this case, we correct this different angle and we fix it on the fiberglass. And this is the most boring part because we need to make a hole on the plywood and center perfectly the stainless steel pole. I didn't take out those stainless steel poles because it was originally very fixed. They only chew in all of them. You can see the spacer, 5 millimeters. We need them. Another hole on the cap rail and another screw. Piero is checking the piece of plywood that uh, is just uh, uh, where I need to put the cleat on the stand and now we move on the port side and we come very fast just on the mid uh, of the board. Always you need to correct because there is some millimeters to cut here and there but at the end all the work went very fast and very smooth, no problem at all. I can say that Piero is a master using this type of tool. He do everything. I'm completely amazing how he uses it. And here we are, this is the most difficult piece that we cut for the cup rail of Velos. Uh, he has a very strange inclination, so we are struggling a lot to give the 5mm space and the correct inclination, but at the end Piero with his experience arrived at the end and finished perfectly the piece. So you can see, great job, 5mm each. And this is the stern piece of the boat. This is more easy and this is the other difficult one. Those are the most difficult pieces 
to fix and prepare it because you know I already say it. but at the end we finished me and Piero and the result was awesome we need to have about four centimeter of plywood because when we follow the contour with the pencil we need this uh, quantity of plywood and this is the last piece of the day let's finish the last piece before Stefano coming and and cut the new tick and here you can see the final result all my provisory cap rail made by plywood are installed correct space everything is okay this is the end of the work of the cap rail you can see it's about 40 cm out the template because we need to follow all the contour of the board and cut in the correct size all the cap rail you can see we use a very uh, big uh, piece of uh, plywood very cheap plywood after that Stefano bring this plywood in his, his factory and cut the correct size all the cap rail made by Tick you can see just around there is quite quite huge big the things is maintain the correct distance between the pieces all pieces are copied from original that was installed but I make a better version and I correct all the imperfection and I won't get here five millimeters distance between the pieces the only problem or um, little difficult will be here when I need to make the hole before install this pole these two pole are very fixed so I didn't take out last year I take out all the other one because it was not very fixed and you can see this is the bow and all the stuff hey friends 18 of December waiting for Stefano of Lina Stem that today come here to sign and take the measure of the cap rail but you can see a very brief view of my tick and the fake cap rail Stefano is arrived just on time as usually you can see here <laughs> is here <laughs> Me and Stefano decide to have a thick cap rail inside of about 12 millimeters and outside about 50 millimeters. We decided this uh, type of measure because a thick cap rail, meaning a very strong cap rail, uh, you don't risk to break. Stefano here is signed the 50 millimeters spacer. You can see the sign of the pencil and this will be the tick that come out from the border of the board so i can stay for many years without problem stefano as usually is a master in his work i already make a lot of this type of job from the boards this was the most difficult part because there was not much space to move just under but at the end we finish also here was a very difficult part but Stefano have no problem to do I'm very happy because when Stefano put the hands on the tick he used the best tick of the market normally the best one and he is very precise and now Stefano move on the bow of the boat this is another difficult part to do because it's very wide piece of tick and we need to make a lot of work to get the correct shape here you can see the sign of the pencil that make the limit of uh, the tick that will be cut. Make a perfect sign mean make a perfect word. For this reason 
Stefano double check anytime he write on the plywood with the pencil that the sign is correct and very visible. In this moment uh, Stefano is signing the plywood on the starboard side of the boat because we already finished on the port side and we came back again on the stern of the boat. Stefano in this moment is marking the exact age of the end of the boat because the tick will be have to be cut exactly to then be cached in and hide all the imperfection of the border that was present. You can see all the imperfection, so the tick will be cached on. Uh, yes, we have practically finished the work uh, and now Stefano mark all single pieces to know after that the exact position where they will be installed. And now I take out the first piece of plywood and give back to Stefano that check if the signs are correct. So finally we have finished with the template that we will use to cut the original one. It will be ready in about 40 days. I just finished to install the cap rail and I go with a huge pasta. And now guys, a sneak preview. This is the tick of my floor that I need to veneer in the next 15 days. You can see a preview of my floor on the floor <laughs> and the factory of Stefano, my dear friend, that import any type of uh, wood. We take the measure and we will do a very fantastic floor with two millimeter of tick. Stay in touch and we will see soon with the new episode. And this episode that you already see is my present for Christmas for all my fans and see you soon. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year!